Welcome to Virgis Fine House. Come find us on Twitter and Instagram. Please subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of new videos. I want to show you guys a new Twitter code that you can use. It is zombie corn. Zombie corn. And I don't know what that gave me. <laughs> All right, so that gave me a new pet here. A zombie corn. Look at it. It is cute. Oh, look at the little bitty zombie corn. Come on up here. Let's go up here so you can see it better. Come on, zombie corn. How cute. So, you get a new pet um, with the code zombie corn. Alright, there is another code that you can use. The witching hour. And that gives you 250 pearls. Awesome. Hey guys, welcome back to Burgess Funhouse. Now we are going to do the quest, Squishy's Ghostly Lantern. And we're going to check all the locations for these lanterns for you so that you can do this quickly. All right, here is the first one. So there are three right here in this main circle area. All right. And then we want to go to the haunted path area, which is, where is it? Right here. And we're going to go down this haunted path area for um, four more. All right. So let's go down the haunted path area. And remember, you can um, sprint through this area. And there, along the path here. I really want to see their things. And I'm not looking up just because they're a little creepy and Grayson and Lauren are in here. So that way we don't have any issues with that. All right. And here's our fourth one in this area. So now that's seven total that we have. So now once we get out of here, we're going to keep going straight through the pumpkin patch down this other little path. And if you look up here, there's actually a chest and I'll get that one in a minute because I want to show you guys where all the chests are in a separate video. All right, so if you look along the left side here, we're going to go left side because it's behind this tree down here at the end. There's number eight and there's the place where you buy toilet paper from okay so now let's go um, over here to the all right so we're going to go let's go and get a candy bucket sorry and let's see let's get the ghost for Lauren and I have already done this on my name, and I put the video up, but um, I wanted to do this in a different way for you guys, so that that way, hopefully, um, it'll be a little bit easier for you to follow. Alright, so um, let's go to the left of the graveyard here. So we're going to um, look, and it's the third house down. Let me make sure, yes. Two, three, three houses down. And we're going to look over here um, on top of this. Right here's another lantern. So we can light that lantern here. Now it is useful to do this quest after you have the broom. Um, I don't have the broom yet. So um, I'm going to try to grab that in a minute. But I wanted to show you the ones that you can get to. And if you don't know, you can get the uh, broomstick actually out of the back of this carriage here for the quest. All right, so let's go back um, to the graveyard and we're actually going to go to the right of it. So if you are looking at the graveyard, it'll be to your left, but if, or if you're looking at the graveyard to your right, but if you're coming out of the graveyard, then it'll be to your left. So that's one, two, 
and then three. Um, I think, was it this one? No, it's not this blue pumpkin. Let me double check. All right, so if we're looking at the graveyard to the left, I think I passed this one. So it should be behind this blue pumpkin. Yeah, she's right there in front of it. So there's number 10. And there is one over here to the right. I don't know if I can get it though without the broom. Let me see if I can get, there's actually one up on the roof. Um, so let me go grab the broom really quick and then we will um, do the 11th one. All right, so um, now that we're at the graveyard directly to our right, if we look on top of the house, um, sorry, did I go to the wrong way? I think so, did I just not see it? Hmm. Maybe I'm missing it. So directly to the right. Yes, there it is. Okay. I just couldn't see it. There is the 11th one. All right. So now if we just go down to the bottom here. Um, if you see this blue pumpkin here, this is the house right beside the one that we were just at. Um, behind this pumpkin here. And let me put this pet away because we can't see. Right here's another lantern, so that's number 12. Okay, All right, so now we're at one, two, three, four, five. So now we're at the fifth house here. Um, and let's look down here. If you look behind these gravestones, um, there it is, there's another light. There's number 13 there. All right, so now get back on your broomstick and we're actually going to go back up to the roof on the same house. And here's number 14. All right, so now let's go back to the graveyard over here. These are a little bit harder to find, so um, you kind of have to be careful when you come in. All right, so let's just go ahead and go straight down the path here. This would be the easiest way to tell you how to get there. <laughs> Straight down the path. Um, and if you look right here in the middle of these gravestones, there is number 15. All right. Um, and I think it's over this way. You see, these are for the flower quest. You keep coming over here. Um, no, where is it? I lost it. All right, so now we're back at the front of the graveyard again. All right, so now we're at the front of the graveyard again. So we're going to go straight. And if you get right here to the right, just a little bit where the white and black are, you see the lantern in the middle. So there's number 16. All right, so now we're going to head toward um, the secret mansion back here. So we're gonna go all the way back to the back here. And right here at the broken fence, there is a lantern. So there's number 17. All right, so let's go through here. And if you go to the left over here, you can see right, there's the scarecrow. Here is a lantern here, there's number 18. And then the scarecrow is actually holding a lantern too. Um, See if I can get to it. Well, I'm not sure how to get it though. This, there it is, okay. You just kinda gotta angle it just right. There's number 19. All right, so um, that was right there. All right, uh, so now we can just go ahead and go to the middle area here to go back to our um, haunted house area. And there's one right here along the path. There's 20. And then there's another one right here by the porch. There's 21. All right, so let's go to the right side here of the house. 
Let's see. Did I miss it? I know it was kind of hard to see. Here it is, right here in the corner of the house here. There's 22. All right, so now let's go back around to the front of the house again. And we can go inside. Here's 23. And go to the left over here. There's 24. And then we go upstairs right here. Along this railing. There's 25. All right, let's go inside here. Um, yep, right here on the table. There's 26. I don't remember if there are any in here, but we're gonna check. Yes, okay, so right here is 27 and there's nothing um, up here because you can't get in that door, so. All right, let's head back down. Right, let's go back downstairs and um, let's go over here to the right so there's the front door let's come over here to the right there is number 28 and then over across to the left is 29 all right so let's keep going here all right let's go to the left over here and to the right and there's one right here on the dresser that's 30, so we have two more. Let's go ahead and grab this crowbar back here. Oh, I already have it, okay. Forgot I did that quest. <laughs> All right, let's double check over here. I don't think so, no. All right, so let's head over here towards the candles. I don't remember there being one in here, but I wanna double check before I tell you that there's not. Okay, no. All right, so now we need to um, head downstairs to the basement. Thought I just stepped on something. I don't know. All right. So you have to break these. Um, I already have because I've already been down here. So you have to break these. Here is another one. There's number 31. And then if you jump up over here, here is number 32. So there are all 32 of your lanterns that you need to have lit. So let's check on our quest here. You can see that now that is all of them. And that is how you get the uh, crown, which did it give it to us? Yes, Squishy's Ghostly Lantern. I hope this video helped you out. Um, I will be doing a video on all of the chests. And thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.